Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will talk about the equation of circles in the conic section. So, ang target natin ngayon, guys, is to transform an equation from general form to standard form. And eventually, we can get the value or the coordinates of the center and its radius. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we have here the different forms when it comes to the equation of the circle in the conic section. As for the standard form of the equation of the circle, we have here the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Wherein your h and k are the coordinates of your center, while the variable r is equal to your radius. Well, this one is your general form. We have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So guys, uh, yung mga given equations natin dito ngayon ay naka um, general form, yung isa dito naka general form at ang target natin is to write these equations in standard form at eventually kunin na natin yung kanilang center at yung kanilang radius So before we start uh, doing this, ano, um, it is important for you to review how to um, do completing the square kasi isa sa mga kailangan yung skill before kayo magpunta dito sa mismo topic na to. Pero along the way, i-discuss ko pa rin naman yung completing the square. So let's start with number one. We write the equation of the circles in standard form. In number one, you're given x squared plus y squared minus 6x is equal to 7. So basically guys, one of the things kailangan dito guys ay to regroup the terms of the given equation. Regroup the terms. So, ano may ibig ng regroup the terms? Yeah, so, pagsamasamahin niyo yung terms with the variable x and terms with the variable y. So, una natin gagawin dito guys for number 1, x squared plus 6 plus y squared minus 6x is equal to 7. I will regroup x squared minus 6x. Uh, I will write it as x squared minus 6x plus y squared is equal to 7. So what we will do here guys, since meron tayo dito ngayon, no? meron tayo dito two terms for the variable x, uh, we will do completing the square para magiging perfect square trinomial to. So paano nangyari sir? Para magiging perfect square trinomial yan, para ganito lang naman siya. x squared minus 6x plus blank, laging plus yan, plus y squared is equal to 7. So, ang gagawin natin dito guys is to get the coefficient of the 6x which is negative 6 and then you will divide it by 2 and the quotient is negative 3 and then square this number negative 3 times negative 3 or negative 3 squared is equal to 9. Ito na yung term na ilalagay natin dito. This is 9. Pero syempre, to make it balance or para maging balance yung ating equation since nag-add tayo ito ng 9, we will also add plus 9 here para maging equal yung ating equation. Now, so how about the variable y? Since the variable y doesn't have the um, linear term, wala siyang y term lang, so as is na yan. So what we will do is we will express this trinomial into a square binomial working in, when we factor out this one, that will become x minus 3 squared plus y squared is equal to, this one is what? This one is 16. Okay? This, this one is 16. Ngayon, uh, sir, paano na kuha x minus 3 squared? Na kuha x minus 3 squared, ito yung pinaka-shortcut lang. Get the square root of x squared, which is x, get the square root of 9, which is 3, and then copy the sign of this one, which is minus. So we have here, ito na ngayon yung ating standard form. Standard form, x minus 3 squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Now, sabi sa inyo kanina, we will try to get the center. 
And as for the center of this, yung center niya, since this one is negative 3, remember ha, this is h, negative 3. So since this one is negative 3, kunin natin yung kanyang uh, opposite sign, or yung kanyang additive inverse, which is positive 3. And sir, bakit po yung y wala pong k? Since wala tayong um, number dito, we will put your k as equal to 0. Okay? And for the value of our radius, since yung radius natin, yung r natin dito is 16, r squared is equal to 16, kunin natin yung square root, and the square root of this one, square root of r squared is r, and the square root of 16 is 4. So ito yung mismo yung ating radius, and this one is your center, which is located at 3, 0. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, it's quite different from the first one, kasi meron tayong y term dito. So let's start. We have x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y is equal to negative 14. First thing you need to do is to regroup the terms of the given equation. So ito, pagsamahin natin itong dalawang to, it will become x squared minus 14x. This one is plus y squared plus 2y is equal to negative 14. Ah, guys, yung constant pala lagi, lagi siya tinatranspose sa kabila para makapagproduce tayo ng radius. And next step natin is to do completing the square. So we have x squared minus 14x plus blank plus y squared plus 2y plus blank is equal to negative 14. Pero mag-add pa rito tayo sa kamila. So, plus blank, plus blank. Okay, yun yung mangyayari sa atin. So, let's proceed. So, para makuha natin, yung, para maging perfect square trinomial itong part na to, itong part na to ah. So, para maging perfect square trinomial yan guys, uh, we need to get the coefficient of your linear term. Di ba meron tayong uh, negative 14x? So, we have negative 14 divided by 2, that is negative 7, and then square this number, and then this will give you 49. So this is 49. Nag-add tayo ng 49 dito, dito rin sa kabila, mag-add tayo ng 49. So we have here, wait lang ha, plus 49. Next, ito namang y terms natin, we will create a perfect square trinomial. This is 2. So, put him in 2. 2 divided by 2. And the answer is 1. Tapos, square this number, it will give you the answer of 1. So, this will plus 1. Ito rin plus 1. Okay, so let's continue. This one is already a perfect square trinomial. So, we can express this into square of binomials. So, that way natin, get the square root of x squared, which is x. Square root of 49, which is 7. Copy the sign of your middle term, which is negative or minus. So we have x minus 7 squared. Plus, get the square root of the first term, which is y squared. The square root is y. And the square root of 1 is 1. Tapos kunin mo yung addition sign, so plus squared. And as for the constants here, simplify natin. 49 plus 1 is 50, minus 14, this will give you 36. Ito lang mismo, yung ating standard form for the second equation. Now, let's determine the center. As for the center, guys, this one is negative 7, right? This one is negative 7. Kulang mo yung kanyang additive inverse, or in other words, bagay mo lang yung sign. If this is negative, this is positive 7. Now, as for this one, this one is positive, so magiging negative 1. Your center is located at 7, negative 1. Ito yung h, ito yung k. And as for the radius, this is your r squared to, r squared the n. Is equal to 36. Get the square root of r squared, get the square root of this. And this is r is equal to 4. So, meron tayong 4 units as your radius. 
Ayan. I hope na nakuha yung first and second example natin para makaproceed na tayo sa third example natin. For the third example, this one is definitely in general form. Okay, so let me move the camera a bit. Yeah. Kita mo ba ako? So, una natin gagawin, um, pansinin niya muna. Meron tayo ng coefficient, meron tayong leading coefficient na 4. Kung may kukumpare niyo sa first and second example natin, ang kanilang leading coefficient ay 1. 1 and 1. So dito, kailangan natin i-transform ito ng kanilang leading coefficient ay 1 lang. So what we will do here is we will divide the whole equation by 4 para maging 1 to. Okay, kung anong coefficient dito, yun din yung maging uh, divisor mo. So divided by 4, 4 squared divided by 4 eh, will give you x squared. Ito, 4 divided by 4, it will give you plus y squared. And 12x divided by 4 plus 3x, okay? And this one, uh, negative 4 divided by 4, it will give you negative 1y or negative y. Ito naman ay magiging negative um, 90 over 4. Tama? 90 over 4. So, tama naman yan pa tayo. 90 divided by 4. Okay, tama. 90 over 4. So, what we will do, and then equal to 0. What we will do here is to regroup the terms, we have x squared plus 3x for the variable y plus y squared minus y and then we'll transpose it to the other side it will become is equal to 90 over 4. From negative it became positive. Now, um, complete the terms, completing the square, uh, this one, ang kanyang Coefficient i3, so 3 divided by 2 is 3 over 2, and then square this number, it will give you 9 over 4. Okay? 3 divided by 2, lagi divided by 2 in the square, so we have 9 over 4. So this is x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4. Let me erase this. So, dito naman, plus y squared minus y. Ang ating coefficient dito ay negative 1 divided by 2. So it will become negative 1 over 2 and then square it. It will give you 1 over 4. Okay, 1 over 4 meron tayo. So this is plus 1 over 4 is equal to 90 over 4. And then add din natin to. We have here plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Continue natin. Huwag kayong mag-alala guys, do fraction yan, hindi siya ganun kahirap. Okay, continue natin. Itong part na to, tandaan niyo lagi, kapag kayo nag-square, um, naging, uh, nag-complete the square, always itong magiging perfect square trinomial. Kaya, kahit nakita niyo fraction siya, hindi siya ganun kahirap. Para makuha niyo yung kanyang um, square of binomials, get the square root of this, which is x. And then the square root of 9 over 4 is 3 over 3. Then plus. Then plus. Ito naman, get the square root of y squared, which is y. And then the square root of 1 4 is 1 half. And then, oh, put, nakalimutan ko yung squared dito. Copy the sign, which is minus, and then squared. And as for the fractions on the right side, 90 plus 9, 90 plus 9, 90 plus 9 is 99, plus 1, that is 100 over 4. In which, when you simplify 100 over 4, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So this is 25, only 25. Now, okay na to. Ito na yung mismo standard form natin, guys. Okay? Now, to get the center, center na center natin, center is 3 over 2, Ah, sorry. Uh, since this one is positive, it will become negative. And for the y coordinate, we have negative 1 half. So this is 1 half lang. And for the radius, guys, diba? Mawa siya mahirap, pero dali lang siya. Radius squared 
is equal to 25. So get the square root of this, get the square root of this, your r squared is r, and this is 5. Ito yung missing radius natin, and this is your center. So medyo maingay guys, sorry ha, may gumagawa sa labas. I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, the Churgoy. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!